You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rootrance for Black and White Sports. Well, I know so many of you, so many of you are going to want to embrace, put your loving arms around Bubba Wallace, or as he's affectionately now known on this channel, Thugga Wallace. You're going to want to fully embrace and hold Bubba Wallace real close to your bosom after you hear the statements that Bubba Wallace has got to make. Now, Bubba Wallace is pissed. That's right. He's pissed that he has not been fully embraced by NASCAR fans. He feels like you NASCAR fans have treated him unfairly. Now, this is despite the fact that in Las Vegas last year, Bubba Wallace went out very obviously and publicly tried to bully a driver by the name of Kyle Larson. This is also, never mind, the garage pool noose hoax where Bubba Wallace went on a nonstop grifting tour that included Don Lemon and CNN going out there essentially calling NASCAR fans racist as we remember NASCAR and and so many in NASCAR wrapped their arms around Bubba and turned him into a hero. Never mind all the middle fingers, all the antics around the track, on the track, the wrecks that a lot of people think some are real suspect, all the different behavioral issues around Bubba Wallace. He believes you are treating him unfairly. That's right. By God, other drivers would get a pass, but I don't. My goodness, I wonder why that is. As you can imagine, Bubba Wallace gets dangerously close to playing the race card, I believe, in this soundbite. But he says it's complete bullshit. It is bullshit how he is being treated in the sport by NASCAR fans. Unfairly judged. Let's get to this. Wow. Wow. In news that will shock all of you, <laughs> or not, NASCAR driver Bubba Wallace feels he is being unfairly judged. It's never a good look to do the, the to pull the, the garage pull noose hoax. That's not a good way to start. It's really not. And if you're a NASCAR fan or a media member, it's your fault. The driver who has become a lightning rod of controversy over the years. Look, you know what's not a good look, Thugga Wallace? What's not a good look is making the news in racing and in NASCAR for everything but winning races. Yeah, that's not a great look. In, 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 in case you, you aren't paying attention... I think, number one, if you hadn't came into the sport and tried to make everything about race and tried to label the drivers, I mean, the, uh, the, the fans as racist, then, yeah, you probably would have been uh, a little better accepted in the sport. Not a great way to get going. Beginning with the unsubstantiated claim that someone fashioned a noose and left it in his garage at a, as a racial attack against him. The FBI proved it to be false. False narrative. It was a lie. It didn't happen. Now he says that fans blew his middle finger episode of a few weeks ago out of proportion because they treat him differently than other drivers. What? Let's listen to this. Yeah, for me, I'd love this to... People think that I love to stay in the headlines for uh, for different reasons, and I actually hate it. Um, you know, it's uh, yeah, it's it's funny how it all works out. Uh, how the fingers become such a big thing when Bubba Wallace does it, but you have guys that get wrecked and get dumped on the track, and they walk out on the track and shoot one bird or shoot the double bird, and we laugh about it and move on, and we we tell them that they're number one. But when Bubba Wallace does it. We got to shut the whole state down, shut the whole series down, kick him out, suspend him. So, on that side of things, it's complete BS. Um, but it is what it is. It's been going on for years, and it sounds like I just invented something new. 
and we know how some of these these people that are part of the sport hate when Bubba Wallace brings in something new. So, do you have to be more careful now about doing it? Are you going to have to stop what other people are doing, or how? Oh, hundred percent. I need to stop doing it. It's it's not a good look, right? Okay. Um, and and we all get that. But what I'm getting at is it's been going on for years. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's been going on for years. Okay, so there's Bubba telling you he feels like he is being treated unfairly. And for those of you that need a reminder of the incident that Wallace is referencing, the social justice warrior turned NASCAR heel gave the middle finger last month during a live interview on Fox New- uh, Fox Sports. And how about that performance by Bubba Wallace? There it is Wallace right there. He flipped the bird because he was, once again, for the upteenth time, he was upset. It seems like he's got a new reason to be upset every single solitary week with this guy. It's something new. And I, I have brought up, he's talked about uh, having issues mentally on the track and dealing with anxiety and this and that and the other. And it seems to me like in a sport that needs all of the mental clarity in the world, Bubba is not all that mentally clear. I mean, is that safe to bring up? Am I out of bounds bringing that up? Uh, It seems to be always something with this guy. It's unbelievable. And look, I mean, I think a lot of people are also aware that when you pull some of the things that you pull, particularly starting with the news hoax, you were able to build yourself quite a brand. That's right. A brand, I mean, uh, not exactly built on winning, right? Built on something else. There's a grift component in this that I think a lot of people don't like either. The fact is, Bubba Wallace has been dramatically elevated by the media and by people in NASCAR that want Bubba to be elevated, okay? Don't think it's not a priority for Bubba Wallace to be elevated in that sport, despite not winning. That's a thing. Sometimes people want you to actually earn things in the sports that they watch, for crying out loud, and not throw fits all the time. I mean, yeah, there's been a lot of drivers that, look, aren't afraid to, to, to say what they think, you know, get wild, do all these things. But you know what I, I can think of? Most of those drivers were, A, likable, to be honest with you. And, Bubba, you're not that likable. And, B, they grew massive fan bases on the backs of winning races. It's amazing. I mean, I'm sorry, but I can't think of a lot of other NASCAR drivers that make national non-sports television appearances. You seem to have made a lot of those at one time. You know? Had nothing actually to do with racing. Yeah. He probably is NASCAR's biggest heel. He's right. And it's well-deserved. Tell me what you think. Oh, you NASCAR fans. It's your fault, not Bubba's. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.